And then the Urshig is able to lock in these offlaners because you're still running a double last hits because he can't just do it with the Tiki Napalm on him. But with a stick charge already up and running. Okay, Chuan, that's problematic right there. Burning needs to go for the clap, but Chuan, he's inside the fire, he's gonna miss the sun completely. Gets the hex instead over on Yao, but first blood's still spilled. Lane, but Ferrari is destroying maybe completely. Oh. 21 15 against 7 and 1. Hey, we talk Chuan. about. Oh. Run away. The fish oh, is nice in a nice position and fates in a really bad spot. He'll end up dying here, so LGD will take a secondary kill. Uh, this one will go to the Batrider and not to Zhao Wait. And with Batrider's Firefly, he can just walk away. In fact, uh, well, do they want her? Now burning. Zhao Wait left behind to die. So it ends up being a 1 1 trade off. But I, I think LGD is here. still happy with that considering they. There's one place Shadow Fiend isn't, and that's in the lane. It's not farming. Bottom right. lane's having some fun. Chuan with the Hex. He's stopping Yao from getting that last two off on him. He's gonna get it off now, but the Firefly has almost expended its entire duration. Chuan just finds the remainder of his Tranquil Boost before death. Meanwhile, up on top lane, Faze being hit pretty hard. And they're going after that Witch Doctor. He let the Malediction off, which is why Faze taking so much damage too. And with the Brewmaster split, they end up getting a couple. Both the Necro plus the Witch Doctor will end up dropping. Um, the tankiness is very good, the int is nice for keeping the mana for your spells, and it's going to make it very easy for Shadow Fiend to raise combos, it's going to be easier for Shaker to land good fissures fight and bat to initiate. Yeah, it's fight As, time. Uh -oh. Jump off by burning, clap, split, Scylla going to get controlled, Sonic Wave hits hard on the three players from LGD. The buyback came instantly out from the Necros, he wants to come back into this fight, Yao, now going to be set up by that Earth Ruling, more support arriving from Luo, a double kill for Ferrari, he wants to back up until this Malediction has, has run its course, now the Lich Holdy also comes in from Faith, bouncing oh, up to Silo, he's got a creep right next to him, he got isolated for it, it's a dieback for LGD, Xiao went back in range of the tower, Ferrari will kill him off, it was a DD for the entire time, an ultra kill for Ferrari, and Invictus Gaming, you thought they won the laning before, have basically just won the war against LGD. He's farmed his own ancient stack, and he's now farming the enemy ancient stack. It looks like LGD want this to happen, they want to take a fight here. And they... if Lua's on half health when it starts, they might have a shot here. Oh, there's the lasso, can he get the mech That's off? Nice does kill. he have time for it? Another side. It's gonna drop 75 seconds on the sideline. Was this, <laughs> was this next level bait? Was this, here's a whole bunch of money, come and farm it. Haha. <laughs> I actually think he farmed the majority of the ancients. Oh my god, triple clap from burning. Yep, and then into the split too. The sonic wave from Ferrari! Again hitting so hard, maybe got orchid up, there's nothing he could do in this fight. No Requiems, no Razors. MMY is trying to stay alive here, but he's not quite sure if he should turn around because Silas in a world of hurt. He's gonna get Frost Blasted down, but it's the Queen of Pain who gets the kill. While up into the air again, that Brewmaster split from burning. It's worked so much of overtime. Ferrari's now gonna go on Xiao Wei. I almost feel that this game is almost over at the moment. With a double kill in for Ferrari, it's an 8-0-3 Queen of Pain. They're killing them underneath their tier 2 towers after they lost the Bristleback for no real trade-off in damage. But every single time, Ferrari, uh, he is hitting the hole 100% of the time. If potentially they can catch out, uh, in fact they will. Uh, you've got mech, there's uh, no TP, so Silo won't be able to escape the way he did before. So Orchid Scream, worth the Sonic Wave here to ensure the kill and they're going to take him as well. <laughs> okay. With a finger of death as well. <laughs> It was the only way they're gonna get the kill, they didn't have enough damage to do it. I don't think they needed the Sonic, actually. They really? needed to use Sonic or Finger, because they had the Orchid still. The Orchid damage. There's been some arguments made as to why it's... It, it, ta it takes away from the hype. Sides. For now, we just jump in. Burning, great clap, into the split. Yao drops like a sack of potatoes. Now, Lich Ultimate, it's carving LGD up. They've just lost three, they're about to lose four. Ferrari's got Scream, doesn't have his Orchid up and round. In fact, he's just going for the Shadow Strike to slow down Xiao Wei. There's the Blink to Scream. It's a double kill for Ferrari. He's 11-0-5 with a almost 15k net worth 26 minutes in. Interesting discussion actually that's been had multiple times. Each to their own, really. Each to their own. Or whatever the teams debate, uh, uh, dictate that we should do. Players union. Uh, <laughs> here comes your push up mid. So uh, LGD, they're one player down as far as the buybacks go. Necro does actually have it. He's going to use it. Blink, Lasso, they may strike Lua, but look at Burning. So deep in. He's able to get the split off, but the Death Ward did some level of work until finally the stun was able to arrive. Maybe got his Requiem Assault, but Ferrari just doesn't care. He just stays around, tanks it up, blinks himself away. He's not too healthy. In fact, they did end up losing the Brussels back and the Lich will buy back. That's the last Bruling. He's only got one second left on it, and there's not enough damage coming in from LGD. 
to bring it down in time. So LGD are down an SF. And all of IG, well, they just, they're trying to win this with their money. They bought back in both Bristol as well as Lich, but you had the buyback of the Witch. Again, that's the that's the problem. There's a Roshan now, they can't contest it. They they checked it, but uh, Burning blinked in and then left five seconds before Roshan spawned. But it oh. may not matter, because they've already gone for Sila. Finger of Death. Oh, nice He's force. actually forced up, up, able to get the mech charge off. And with the Malediction on Burning, he's going to be careful, but Luo doesn't care. He's just charging in with his BKB. The Lich is going to arrive. The Scythe couldn't stop him from getting the last attacks in. So the Necro is down, the Wish Doctor as well. They can at least hold Luo in range of these tier 4 towers, but Ferrari with that Scardi, they just can't run away, but Ferrari's going to die into the tier 4 towers. Well, that Maybe just a little bit too deep. From he got, they got two kills because of that fissure. It went right in the middle of Queen of Pain and Bristle. Bristle died to the tier 4 tower, and then Quop died to the tier 4 tower. So that's a really good hold from LGD. Look at that gold they just got from that. I can't see the- oh, there's the fight recap. Yeah, it, I, I don't know what was- I, This is probably bad news for LGD. Is Bernie gonna jump up? The observers and sentries oh, are down for really LGD. really good position. Uh, with, with the high ground their way, maybe, throws out a raise, which is going to fly to Chuan. Then they're up there and he jumps up, gets the stun, it's over for the Batrider, but the Fisher, maybe he's going to buy some space until Burning jumps in with the BKB. Ferrari with the Sonic Wave, they mop up to Batrider bought back and maybe just wind it up and obliterates the Lich. Unfortunately, his fun's going to end right there. Ferrari, even with the Malediction on him, he will not be dying. They've lost three players. Roshan's exposed now for IG, with LGD in no position to contest this. And they bought back in the bat ride, so that was a gold ahead, or t thousand gold ahead per minute, pretty much. And the bristle is so. Oh, just look, this believe. is what's going to happen. They'll pull him in. They drag for Luro. They need to use everything for him. Yep. Then he has BK. Necro There's a side. Not even enough. And it's, uh, no, they get the Aegis go. down. They oh, got the Aegis down. They used everything. Now they can't fight him. Well, they've this still got Requiem. They've still got Echo Slam. They've still got Death Ward. So, where's that position from Xiao Wei? Throws out the Fissure, slows down Luo. The mid racks is slowly going down. Yes, but you've already burnt the Aegis to the Immortal. You lost your mid racks. But on the bright side, now you can stay inside your base and the Creep Wave will reach you. The problem is that if, if IG play this right, they just take two lanes. Like, they just go top and do the same. There is no initiation on this Bristle. They can't kill him. Because the only way they kill him is pulling him into the tier 4s like that. They can't do that again. So, he's just going to be in the front lines doing exactly oh, this. And then all in. of a sudden... Finger. Okay. SF. He was the only man with a buyback for LGD. I actually take that back. The Batrider has it as well. Sent up into towards the air by the Brewmaster Ultimate. They have to bring down these towers and, and into the racks. They don't always just have to focus on the kills. Get control of the lanes. The Brewmaster Ulti is being whittled away. They got rid of the fire brilliant, but there's still two more that's causing so many problems. LGD are being held at bay by one Master of Brew. Burning, unable to blink himself away, and there's a good Echo Slam. They need more control. Requiem from maybe combining up with the Death Wall. The Requiem taking way too long to get out there, and the Lich holding most of it's been soaked up by the Dark Reef Wave. That's one upside for LGD, but they still haven't killed off Luo. They lose their Shadow Fiend. That's the dieback right there. Silo is just basically gunked up completely by Ferrari, as well as Luo. That's going to be GG. IG will be able to advance themselves through. They come through the lower bracket, defeating the team that knocked them down in that winner's bracket semi-final. And they will be the team to go up against VG Gaming in the grand final up next. Do you have it's good to see, any remaining It's good thoughts? to see the composure. It's good to see the composure of IG. VG Gaming, for me, is still the strongest team in China, so... Going up against them, they will be underdogs, and they're going to have to win three games out of four. And that means you need really good composure, and you